easy, this is distance. Um, right then, so I thought I'd do a tutorial on pads. A lot of people are asking me about pads. Um, I know there's also a few of you that want to know about drums and mix downs and mid basses and stuff, and that'll all, that'll all be coming eventually. Um, so yeah, I thought I'd just do this because it's really, really quick. Um, <clears throat> yeah, uh, we're going to be using Massive. I'm using Cubase um, also, which is what I've always used. Um, it's just going to be just a quick one. Um, you know, there's not many tutorials out there really that show how to make pads, and um, almost every one you see for Massive is always about making, you know, dubstep bass lines and stuff. So maybe this will kind of show you what Massive can also be used for. Uh, so st starting off, just gonna create a new sound. So, so yeah, we're completely just at the standard preset. Um, <clears throat> So, the majority of what happens when making a pad is all about the kind of effects and the, you know, modulation and envelopes and all kinds of things like that, you know, it's not really the sounds you start off with, it's kind of the same with bass lines really, you know, you're just starting off with a quite a normal, um, you know, wave shape and then going from there, so, uh, alright, so first of all I'm going to go to a one in oscillator one and that doesn't sound anything like a pad which is fine right and I've just moved down the position and the intensity a little bit let's put these up so we're going to be using filter one also I'm going to turn on oscillator two with this one I'm going to go for the bass pulse Again, just going to turn down the intensity in the position. I may even so anyway, you know, like, like everything, it's best to experiment as well. It'll be the sounds you want to use. These aren't necessarily sounds I use. Do you know what I mean? This is just just to show you how you can go about making your own pad really really quickly. Um, so the next thing is you want to go down to envelope uh, number four because envelope four is on the set to the amplifier. Um, so as you can hear, it's pretty stabby if we have the attack short, which isn't really pad like. So if we turn it up, it's kind of more like a pad. If you know what I mean, it's more gradual, not as harsh. Turn up the release a little bit. So kind of that's the real basic the you know the basics of us setting up a pad um, next I'm gonna just put on a couple of effects um, and really makes it all come together um, gonna just chuck on a chorus I'm just gonna turn up the release a little bit more on our envelope four so already we kind of get in a bit more <clears throat> it was sounding like we got a pad do you know what I mean uh, if we go to effects 2, uh, on this I'm going to put a reverb because most pads, you know, are for creating atmosphere. Um, I like creating quite, you know, cold atmospheres, if you know what I'm saying. Um, to turn up the size. Okay, so that's not a bad start, really. I mean, you could just use that if you wanted. quite you know pad like um, you can also try messing around with the uh, modulation oscillator to try it on either oscillator one or two because we're using one or two so that kind of makes it a bit more aggressive now where you can change things and make it even more interesting again is by putting on a filter so if you go up to filter one I'm going to put a low pass four this is it open. Turn it down. So there we go. It's kind of more or less a pad. You know, that's pretty much that's pretty much it. Uh, I mean, you could go further. You know, start modulating some of these. Um, 
you know, some of the dials up here, like the wave position. So why don't we do that just to show you, you know, what you could do if you wanted to. So if we go here, let's just move that to the middle. I'm not going to use this one. So that's just to give you a little bit of movement. You can push the second oscillator down a little, just to give it a little bit. So yeah, I'm pretty happy with that. simple easy to do um, uh, you know again from here you'd want to go to EQ in it um, you know if you had drums rolling and sub bass and mid bass you'd obviously be you know trying to fit this around all that so um, you could put on the EQ you know and you might want to take out some of the bottom end so it's not going to interfere with everything so yeah, just things to think about, you know, you might want to EQ it. But again, just because I'm doing this, just to show to make a sound, I haven't got any drums or anything rolling, so I can't really give you an example of that. So anyway, I hope this was some kind of help to you. Um, and if you haven't already subscribed to the YouTube channel, do, and I'll put up a few more of these, plus I'm going to be putting up some new tracks and stuff very soon. I hope you enjoy it.